Hi guys, welcome to Rolene's Rendezvous. Tonight we're attending the very anticipated media launch of Lene de Jager's collection at Contemporary Events in Centurion. All right guys, so I have the privilege to rendezvous current Mr. South Africa, Candice Abrahams. Welcome to Rolene's Rendezvous. Listen, just from walking around and looking at the fabulous stuff, I'm already like, she's exceeded beyond expectations. I'm a fashionista at heart, I'm very trendy and world watch out because the stuff is absolutely different, it's amazing. The mixture of the fabric, the cork, I love it. I can't wait to get my hands on one. Now, obviously you're a role model for girls around South Africa and I'm sure the globe. What would you say is your advice for young girls regarding fashion? I definitely think that, you know, shop in a budget. It's not always about, you know, the most fabulous outfit in price-wise. I think that you can look fabulous on a lower end, end budget. You just need to know how to coordinate your stuff. For example, you can buy one little black dress and use it in five ways, you know. Get creative by going to a flea market, getting some accessories and getting some fabulous handbags like we have over here tonight. But just play around with your looks. Um, and yes, it's all about just knowing your style, tapping into your style, and you can do it on a budget, guys. All right, guys, so I'm currently speaking to Arno Grief, South African actor, singer, and I feel like saying good looking is an occupation, like you can add that to your resume. How do you feel about that? Uh, no comment. Arno, being at the launch of Lene's collection launch tonight, what are your predictions or expectations for the night? I'm actually just looking forward to getting nice bags for my girlfriend. Yeah, because there's a couple of good things, or well, good looking things out here. Um, and uh, yeah, just looking forward to a good night. I hope it's a big success for her. I mean, the products are awesome. Um, so yeah, just looking forward to a good night. I have the privilege of rendezvousing Mr. South Africa 2006, Annette Kasselman. Thank you so much. It's my honor and privilege. Annette, since 2006, obviously a lot has happened in your life. Um, coming to a launch of a fellow Mr. South Africa like Lene, how does that make you feel being part of that community? Oh, well, I love it. Uh, Lene is part of my family. We are a Mrs. South Africa family. And ever since she's been crowned, she's been a wonderful friend to me. And we are, she's more like a little sister to me because I think I'm the old lady in the family. So I'll look after them very nicely. But yeah, ever since uh, she's been crowned as Mrs. South Africa, I think she's been one of the best Mrs. South Africa there's, there's ever been. And we've just become like sisters. And I really appreciate it. She's always kept me part of everything that she's done and yes I love it to bits. Now being at the launch tonight do you have any expectations or predictions for the night? Well everything Lene touches turn to, turns to gold so um, I wouldn't expect anything less of her and I'm so proud of her for what she's accomplished everything she's done I mean it takes guts to do a launch like this and to absolutely make this happen uh, I'm really so proud of her so yes I think the sky's the limit. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sitting with a very dapper Lo Breitenbach. Lo, welcome to Rolene's Rendezvous. Now, Lo, being at the collection launch tonight from the reviewer, um, you've obviously been to a couple of launches and parties. What are your predictions or expectations for tonight? Oh, well, um, I think because uh, Lene herself has been associated with the Mrs. South Africa brand for so long, she's the epitome of um, elegance and style, and I think she knows how to pull something off. And just judging by the food and the red carpet, or the black carpet, should I rather say, and everything looks spectacular. So I think we're in for a treat tonight, yeah. All right, guys, so I'm currently speaking to Joanita Feltz. Welcome to Rolene's Rendezvous. How would you describe your own style? Ooh, at home. <laughs> <laughs> Casual. <laughs> um, I, I think I try a bit to be funky and sexy, even though I'm a bit older. But um, yes, I try to, to make a combination of stuff. So currently speaking to Lee Scott, recording artist, South African of course, and our MC for tonight. Welcome Lee. Being at the launch of Lene's collection, what are your expectations from tonight? Well, I think expect the unexpected, definitely. The lineup is going to be awesome. As you can see, all the placements of the products are really beautiful. And just a fun-filled, money-making evening. In terms of fashion, when you hear the word fashion, what is that? what comes to mind? Good manners. I actually um, read a quote from Tom Ford saying, getting dressed in the morning before stepping out in public is a form of good manners. So anybody that is good-mannered will dress appropriately and just 
fashion forward, basically. Yeah. Well, I would have not guessed that answer. <laughs> I would not. All right. So currently talking to CEO and founder of Contemporary Events, Albert Krier. Hi. Thank you for having me. Welcome to Orleans Rendezvous. Now, the, for the collection tonight, what were your expectations? The expectations was that it would actually blow people away. Um, the biggest thing that I love about this collection is it's not only for females. You know, when you when you have a launch of um, a brand, you always think, oh my God, more handbags. And there's really great product for guys here. There's handbag guns, there's, you know, overnight bags, there's toiletry bags. So it's such a versatile product range that you just, you, you don't know where to start. And everybody here tonight can walk away with a product which is absolutely phenomenal. All right, guys, so Willem Buerta, I feel like it doesn't get any better than this. Willem, welcome to Orleans Rendezvous. What are your expectations for the night? Uh, I must say Lene is one of my, my, my very close friends and I've, I've, I've walked this whole journey with her from the start. So, um, so I know how much effort she put into a night like this. Um, I did a photo shoot with her last year as well. So, and um, she's always been, been talking about the, the bags and the launch and the, the brand and everything. So I've got one of my own that she gave to me at my birthday. Uh, which is pretty cool, a computer bag. So yeah, I'm, I'm so excited that she's finally uh, having the chance to show people. All right, guys, so the moment we have all been waiting for, Lene de Jager. <laughs> Bye, thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Orleans Rendezvous. Now, Lene, I think tonight was a huge success, right? Um, did you have any specific expectations for the night? Um, I wanted to make this... this um, this room of con contemporary events into a Lenadio shop, and I think they definitely conquered. They they did a beautiful job, so I'm very happy. <laughs> now, coming back to fashion, the fashion industry is very competitive. What would you say set your brand apart from other people's collections? Well, I can say first and foremost in our history in South Africa, what Kirk Gebruik for any kind of sake. So this is definitely this. And the combination with the Kirk and the Leer is also a winner. Now, you remind me of Sarika Jessica Parker and I don't know how she does it, the film. How would you say, did you manage to pull off this extravagant event and your career? Like, what kept you level-headed? I think the most important thing is um, balance and routine. Um, my clients think it's a very good routine. And I try myself to be in a routine so that I can definitely get everything out in a day.